Todd, do you have any good techniques to slice stories to look like a good sushi? I think that's a fun way of posing it. I know there's, maybe while you're giving your initial thoughts, there's a post out there that I think is helpful. There's a lot of different ways to do this. So you can, can look at acceptance criteria and try to break it down to one criteria per story. You can look at, of course, we're talking about vertical slicing, right? We don't want to do horizontal slicing. We want vertical slicing. So it's a slice of sushi. You get a piece of each ingredient in every bite. I think some of these ideas almost by, you could, so there's a lot of schemes. You could do it by persona. You could do it by the data needed to deliver a feature. So there's like data considerations, there's workflow considerations, like different pieces of a workflow could be a logical way to do it. I've also looked at features and I thought, wow, there's a lot of nice to haves, but at the core of the feature, we're trying to do this one thing. A great example of this is Disney Plus when they shipped their initial product without the ability to resume, right? They decided that first initial slice of their streaming service, like if you start a movie and then you back out of it, You've got to start right back at the beginning. And then they added those features later. I think that's a really interesting way to look at it. And there's all sorts of different considerations. Neil Killick did a fixing your agile coaching video here on the agile for humans, YouTube site that had a, it's a great discussion with Neil about slicing users into things that are more manageable and that are more focused on actually, on actually on value, like trying to make sure that it's always valuable. There could be business rule considerations you could use, different interfaces, like you could do, all right, this is our mobile, this is our PC, this is our Xbox. I think some people have even used like, here's the happy path. Like here's the perfect interaction with our app. And then in later iterations, they build out some of the unhappy paths or pieces of that path. So lots of different considerations. I would start with Neil's work and we've got a great video with him on the YouTube site. Todd, anything you would throw in there? No, I think that's good. I think that Neil's work's really good to start there. Yeah. And hopefully we've given you a few ideas to get you started. There might um, be a slicing class coming up. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. Pay attention to our stuff we might critique might be just very might be talking about slicing in the future.